I want to welcome all of you to the Sisson Law Expansion Ribbon Cutting. Um, this is our official uh, congratulations for the investment in buying this property and expanding the business. I know I've been working with um, Ed and Jeffrey for several months now trying to find suitable location and so this one came up and uh, they didn't waste too much time thinking about it. But, um, so I'm Kimberly Marshall. I work for the City of Medina. I'm the Economic Development Director. We organize these ribbon cutting events jointly with our business partners. So we have the Medina Chamber of Commerce. So we have Jacqueline Ringsmeyer. Where's Jacqueline? Back there. And Stephanie Mueller. So Jacqueline is the Executive Director and then Stephanie's in charge of marketing. They are also responsible for the beautiful weather that we are having today. So <laughs> the neighbor, what we call neighbor commerce weather, yeah. Also, Main Street Medina, we have George Sam over here to my right, who's our interim executive director. So George, thank you for being here. And then also our county partner, Medina County Economic Development Corporation. We have Kathy Breitenbutcher back there. And uh, Kathy, I don't know if you know this, but we added you to the agenda. So oh, <laughs> you may want to move up a little bit. <laughs> Say a few words. Um, so we have several elected officials with us today. Uh, so we've got a lot to get through on our program. I, uh, at this time, would like to turn it over to our mayor, Dennis Hanwell, who has a few words, and then he'll introduce all of the elected officials. So, mayor? Thank you, Kimberly. So it's from the administration, in addition to myself, uh, we have Dan Gladish, who's our chief building official, uh, Sarah Tome, is with our uh, building department in, in the red print uh, top there. Our, our fire chief, Larry Walters, our police chief, Ed Kinney, uh, in the back. And uh, Andrew Dutton is our community development director, uh, which oversees building economic development and planning and zoning. Uh, Barbara Gazur is here taking the still photos, and Miles Reed is here from the Dynas TV. And um, we will provide you both all the still photos and all the video that we take uh, for your own, own purposes uh, there. Uh, I have, on behalf of the city, a proclamation that I would like to read and present to you. In recognition of the ribbon cutting, Edwin A. Sisson, attorney at law, whereas Edwin A. Sisson, attorney at law, is celebrating ex its expansion with the ribbon cutting in Medina on Friday, August 19, 2022. And whereas the firm opened in Medina County in 2004, providing a myriad of legal services tailored to help their clients secure, protect, and monetize their intellectual property assets. In 2016, they moved to the city of Medina. And whereas Edwin A. Sisson, attorney at law, will continue to contribute to the local quality of life and help to provide a foundation for a strong, diversified economic base in the city of Medina. And whereas the city of Medina is honored to officially welcome Edwin A. Sisson, attorney at law, to their new office, and grateful that they have chosen to expand their business here, we look forward to the great things that the firm will accomplish in the future. Now, therefore, I, Dennis Hanwell, on behalf of the city council, and the administration and mayor of the city do hereby recognize Edwin A. Sasson, attorney at law, on its ribbon cutting and offer sincere best wishes for many years of continued success this 19th day of August 2022. Thank you. And I present this to you, sir. And up. appreciate the uh, council's uh, support of, of the uh, administration and, and support of economic development. Next, I'd like to uh, call up uh, one of our county, three county commissioners, Colleen Swedek. Hello. Hi. Okay. I'm Catherine, the 
Board of County Commissioners, as Kenneth kind of said, we're always so thrilled about driving economic development. We wish you luck on your new um, location and wish you the best of luck in the story. Thank you. Okay, now we want to say that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go to the Next, I will uh, introduce <laughs> Kathy Brayton oh, am I from Medina County Economic Development Corporation. I don't have any people for you. Um, you don't need I, I have had the privilege of working with the Citizen Group for quite a while now. Uh, the work that they do is phenomenal. They've won cases in China, which is really fun for me to brag on because I didn't have to do anything. They did it all. Uh, and we're, just, we're so proud to have them in Medina County. They're just such an incredible organization, clearly engaged, as you can see from all the people here. So we appreciate their investment and we look forward to the future. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce Sharon Ray. She's the state representative for this, this region. Thank you all. I, what a welcoming ceremony you do for the new business to see your community. And I know that we are thrilled to have you here. You and I got to talk for a bit before. You have been a great project. It's, what a nice improvement for the district, for the county, for the city. Thank you. We welcome you and thank you for being here. What we got here? Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, yeah. An official commendation of welcoming you. Rebecca Armstrong representing uh, Public Affairs for State Treasurer Robert Sprague. Okay, so on behalf of our Treasurer Robert Sprague, we'd like to honor and celebrate you today and your firm on your ribbon cutting and expansion. I wish you many years of continued success. If you ever need anything, give us a call. Thank you. Last but not least, Rep uh, representing U.S. Senator Rob Portman, Ray Fletta. Thank you, sir. <laughs> on behalf of U.S. Senator Rob Portman, I want to congratulate you on the revenue cutting and the expansion of your business and commend you on your continued dedication to Medina and the county of Medina as well. Thank you. Yeah, by the end, he'll be a pro. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got... Wait, we've got more walls? We have more walls. Good thing, yeah. So, we, we have three more uh, accommodations for, for those that couldn't make it. The first is from the Secretary of State, uh, Frank LaRose's office. I present this on behalf of the Secretary of State. is um, United States Congress, Anthony Gonzalez's office. <laughs> and last but not least, from the Ohio Senate uh, and Senator Mark Romanchuk. This moment is the result of 20 years of evolution, and I'm divided this into how we got here, why we're here, and why you would have a ribbon cutting for business. Almost. Standing. 
Right, right. And uh, then, of course, a thank you to here from the government side of the gifts. So, uh, well, I didn't realize it was all going to be in some of the proclamations. Uh, the firm was founded in 2004. After all, what does a 42 year old do law school graduate? <laughs> yeah. Uh, at that time, the office was at the home residence in Granger in Medina. Jeffrey Banyas, can you step out? Um, and um, he actually had just become married, and he lives two miles five miles, miles away. Yeah. yeah. Um, at that time, we moved the offices to Sheridan Center, and it was our largest client's R&D facility. And then Kim joined in 2014. I didn't have to do And for those of you that may have a long memory, you'll remember excuse me, Kim as a Medina B. And grew up here, right? Uh, and she graduated from the uh, Jolene, raise your hand. Jolene hails from South Africa. So, don't tie up the phones too much, um, but she will see her office inside. The office moved into Medina proper in August 2016, just one block away. Our landlord was, and still is until uh, December 31st, Cameron Pedro. Uh, we have an excellent relationship with him. We grew to the point where we were renting three of his facilities. Um, one thing he wanted was to control the parking lot. You never knew who was going to be there. So we have a rather large parking lot uh, for functions like this. Um, we knew very quickly we'd outgrown the current location, and we were looking for a place to expand, and then COVID where you expand, how you expand, all becomes very important. And Jeffrey and I and Kim watched the properties on West Liberty go up for sale. For those who don't know it, of course, we would meet with uh, Mr. Bucks, the senior. Yes, there he is. Or Kimberly at Sully's, telling him things that we found. West Liberty is commonly referred to as Lawyer's Row because it houses a home to many of Medina's lawyers. We quickly found that uh, we were a day late and a dollar short. Anything posted that came up in the last two years already under contract or they needed so much upfits. One needed a whole house air conditioners and other things. That's why we turned to Kimberly to help us find her and get us in tune before things hit the mark. Massive improvements. Trying to prove pretty daunting and we really didn't understand how to look at these types of properties. Then this property posted for sale. Uh, we were very interested in it but I don't really think about buying commercial real estate. So we reached out to one of our North Carolina clients and close personal friend, Kevin Mall and his wife Shelly. It's a long and involved story. Those of you that are from Goodyear know uh, the Malls from the racing, that Goodyear racing, and the fact that they actually live on Beach Road. They've pioneered some very um, interesting items that we've helped them with, and it started with one of the facilities here in Medina Town. But Kevin educated us on how to view this as a business property and not a residential property. And he explained to me what, what an owner-owned lease is, what the concept of upfits. No, it's not the property you buy, but the amount of money you have to put into it to get it to what you want. Uh, he explained what, and I still don't know if I got it right, Brian Harrington, what an owner-owned lease was, but we are working with money providers to, to um, refinance the whole thing, um, get it completely under control of myself and the other members of that LOC. Um, what were it not for Kevin and Shelly, we would not be here today. Uh, Kevin flew in. Jeffrey got to see Kevin at work and why he flew in. We're in there. Kevin looks at it. Looks around. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, he put an offer in right there. Cash, Cash offer. Cash offer. Here it is. Be done and dusted. They counter with a little bit. He said, put it in the drawer and let's move on. <laughs> yeah. He has a great wife that helps him. He writes the makes the commitment and writes the checks to figure out how to pay for it. <laughs> um, they couldn't attend, but I want to uh, reserve a special gift for both of them to commemorate this occasion. Kim found some of our old throws from some of the first times we were there, so we'll be giving them that. Maybe some people let it, their dog have it, others, <laughs> their grandmother and stuff. But anyway, it's one of the more remarkable gifts that we have. But why a ribbon cutting for a company that's been doing business for 20 years? I knew Kimberly would ask that question to Jeffrey. So, 
For those of you that come to the Christmas party, we've been growing at 20% per year since 2016. Um, that's a doubling every three years. You'll see an empty office up there and the opportunity to make more offices. If you are on Indeed or LinkedIn, you will find our postings for another patent attorney and electrical engineer. So if you see one, get the word out. These people are like unicorns. Those that are helping us with the posting, uh, there's Diana over there, um, Janet Cannon writing the postings. We've gotten some good feedback. Um, Lou was reaching me on the attorneys he's trying to find for his firm. It's, uh, it's tough to find the people that you really want in the skill set. Uh, some thank yous in closing. You're doing great. All right. Yeah. Special thank you to Mayor Hanwell, the city's administration. And I took this off the list. So I brought anybody extra. I don't have them. Okay. Um, the TV crew, Mr. Dutton, Ms. Dessert, Councilperson Paul Rose, County Commissioner Swidek, Representative Ray for their remarks. And of course, um, Ms. Ruffer and Armstrong, representing Mr. LaRousse, our Secretary of State, and Mr. Sprague, our State's Treasurer. And I was exceptionally pleased that uh, Anthony Gonzalez gave us something. Uh, our national government was represented by Mr. Collette on behalf of the Did I get everybody? Did I miss anybody? <laughs> nobody important. Okay, nobody important. Oh, well, oh, but that, ha huh, huh. yeah. And of course, Kimberly Marshall organizes the events. We, we often meet for lunch at Sully's Burr. Bucks and others there, catching up on the government events and happenings in our community. Of course, we don't forget the MCDC. We call those BREs. Yeah. All right. Um, so I have it here somewhere, but yes, you're not on the political side because you're part of the business only. That's right. Okay. Oh, okay. But we often <laughs> think of our public elected officials as part, just part of the landscape, not really understanding that they are truly here to help us as a community at the local and individual business level. This year, we called upon our local congressman, Mr. Gonzalez, to intervene, advocate on our behalf with the IRS. We were asking them to help us obtain a special tax rate, allowing us to receive monies from certain foreign countries, certain courts, and other countries. It, it, it may sound odd, we can just fill it out and you get it, right? I'll talk to Kim about the frustration. At our wits end, the IRS department issuing those forms have been closed for COVID for over two years. We kept getting these notes from, "Are you going to send us this? We need this tax treaty done." We called our accountant. They had to refer us to another accountant because they didn't. Send it then, of course, they opened huge backlog. We were looking for tax forms from 2010 through 2022, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022 were hard. The help of uh, Mr. Gonzalez's office, we received those days, those forms before the 45-day period. Jeffrey brought them up to me. UPS delivered them, and I about cried. And the monies owed for years was transmitted straight away, in part allowing us to purchase this facility. The IRS is still sending Kim updates that they're working on our. <laughs> <laughs> So the point of the story is these officials and their staff work tirelessly 24-7 behind the scenes, quietly and humbly to make things happen for us. To the extent that we can provide an opportunity for them to get out and meet the public, we're proud to do so. Thank you all. One of the reasons we're here. These officials work here, you go, know, they work very closely with the Medina County Economic Development Corporation, <laughs> the MCEDC, who is represented here. Well, I might have my Who's gonna speak? She just didn't know. Uh, um, many of you are members of the MCEDC. Some of you are doing business with us because we met at an MCEDC. Um, the lady at MCEDC when the restaurant called Muse was open, I was there was in the evening and she walked over and said, Edwin, you do exist. We thought it was just Jeffrey because he's the only one that attends the meeting. But Must be fair, I can get, I'm the one that gets up that early. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a special thank you, of course, to my mother, uh, who did all the vacuuming in here. She's banned from the vacuum. <laughs> um, so she's been quite helpful uh, in getting the place ready. Um, everybody will get a tour from our facilities. But we ask our dignitaries, and everybody else will get a pen. So dignitaries, you have cups in there, and you have our pen. And we are known, you can see it on our website, as the firm with the pen. 
big as many as you want. <laughs> this pen has a long story. Um, it took us 10 years or so to find it. It's sturdy enough, the half doesn't break, you can use it with your iPhone. So that you just go that side. It's blue because it's for a lawyer. At least it's supposed to be, right, Kim? Or we, one time we got black, so it's blue. Okay, so uh, have functionality. Uh, when Jeffrey travels to meet the associates in the various conferences, I wave the pen at him. People, when we get him on a conference call, maybe at 9 o'clock at night because it's 9 a.m. in China. Who knows? He does all the business. Yeah, we know you. You're the firm with the pen. <laughs> so when Christmas time comes around, we have lots of requests for refills. It depends. So it's not a matter of if you need a refill. It will be when you need a refill. <laughs> and now, I know they've got some pictures. So this is We're going to go three, two, one.